everyone. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up HAProxy with Let's Encrypt on OpenSense for reverse proxy solution. This allows you to serve internally hosted services with a valid SSL certificate to the outside world. We'll set up HAProxy to run on port 443 and listen to all incoming HTTPS traffic. It'll check requested URLs for matches in its rules and then execute conditions accordingly. OpenSense has a robust plugin system allowing us to use free Let's Encrypt certificates in conjunction with HAProxy. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go to System, and then Firmware, and then Plugin. Now that we're in Plugins, we need to install two things. We need to install the Acme Client. And then we need to go ahead and also install H A proxy. <clears throat> All right, with those installed, now what we're going to do is we're going to reload the interface so that they show up in our services option tab here. Now we're going to go to Acme client and then accounts so we can set up our Let's Encrypt Acme account. Put an email in here. And here, just name it whatever you want. Give it a description if you want. We're going to want Let's Encrypt. Now that we've got our account, we're going to go to Challenge Types. So you've got two options here. You can either do DNS or HTTP. We're going to do a DNS option here. So that way we can get a wildcard cert. So you can call this whatever you want. I'm using Cloudflare API, so I'll call it Cloudflare API. And then I'm going to get my uh, Cloudflare account ID and API token off of the web interface for Cloudflare. I'll uh, include some links to uh, help folks get that information. Next, we're going to go to certificates and certificates. This is where we're going to actually get our uh, Let's Encrypt information, or our certificate rather. So we'll do uh, wildcard here, wildcard.themall.tech. Uh, pick our Acme account, save. We'll go ahead and issue the certificate. There's a little bit of a jump cut here because I had to uh, wait for some DNS name server changes to propagate. So here we can see uh, our status is okay. Next, go to uh, HA proxy, then we'll go to settings. Get that set up. So first things first here, we're going to go to real servers. This is going to be your actual uh, the server IP address and port of the service that you're hosting. So in this case, I'm running guacamole. So I'm going to call it guac, guacamole server, the IP address that it's being hosted on. So my Docker host is 172.16.100, and it's exposed on port 80. We're going to turn off SSL verification and leave SSL turned off because it's not running on SSL. Next, we're going to go to our virtual services. Just call this Guac for backend pool, and the server is going to be Guac. Next, we're going to go to rules and checks, conditions. This is where we're going to figure out how HA proxy is going to capture when it receives a request for this website. So I'll call it Guac. We're going to change it to uh, host starts with, and we're going to just call this Guac.themoa.tech. So anything that HA proxy sees with that, it'll capture. Then we go to rules where we tell it what condition to do or what to do when it gets a condition. So we'll call it guac. So if it gets guac, then what it's going to do is use a specific backend pool of guac. So that backend pool that we set up earlier under virtual services is tied to uh, one or many real servers. So when it gets that request, it'll send it to the appropriate server. Now we need to free up the uh, 443 port for AJ proxy to run on. So we're going to go to System, Settings, Administration. And under TCP port, we're going to change that to something that's not 443. So in this case, I'm going to use 10443. And save. Then it's going to reload the page. Uh, you might have to, you have to accept uh, 
certificate warning and sign back in with on the new port. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need to uh, go back into HA proxy and we can set up under virtual services, public services, we can set up our public facing pool here. So put a name in, I call my public or uh, web, public web pool, public facing pool. You can call it whatever you want. And it's going to give me an error uh, about this actually, because it needs to be a string. Then uh, listen address is going to be your public IP colon 443 you're going to pick your cert pick a default cert we're going to enable ssl offloading that's a big one so that's what's actually going to enable ha proxy to replace it and we're going to select a rule down here and uh, here's the squawk on public facing pool uh one one tip on the listen address you can actually use if you have uh, ddns set up you can actually use your uh fully qualified domain name next we're going to go to firewall rules LAN. Uh, I already have a setup uh, to access 443 for a specific IP address. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit this to allow traffic from LAN, TCP, from anywhere in the internet to port 443 on the firewall. That way everything can hit HA proxy and HA proxy can proxy those requests. So we'll go to the description, allow internet to HA proxy. And I'm going to clean up this uh, for, port forward 8080 for guacamole that I had for testing. So we'll just delete that. Yes, for sure. By changes. And we'll go back to services, HA proxy, settings. And then we'll go back to settings and service to actually enable the service. We'll hit apply. And I've added a and a record on my DNS for guac.themoa.tech. That points to my public IP address. So if I open a new tab over here, go to guac.themoa.tech slash guacamole, we can see that HA proxy is working with Apache guacamole.